Hello and welcome to the tutorial on getting started creating your not forgotten time capsule and using our website to upload the videos. Our time capsule can be stored for up to 300 years and perhaps the most important part is that your video can be found by future generations. I'm Mickey Charles. I'm the Director of Customer Operations. I have 20 years in broadcast, media, and entertainment experience specializing in workflows, customer solutions, archiving, best practices of data protection. So how does it work? This tutorial will focus on using the website to upload your videos. I have a few videos to share, plus there will be a step-by-step -step process to guide you through creating your time capsule. If you find you have additional questions or need to reach us, please contact us via email at support at not-forgotten.com So this is the first video. And this is what we're going to be working on next. So we're going to be logging into the website. We'll be going to my video. You probably have already seen all of this. You should have created your video on your phone or another device and you're uploading them from your computer. So let's click on login and use your email and password you created earlier to log into the site. So all this should be looking familiar. This is our dashboard page. Uh, we're going to click on my video, which will take us to the next page. Scroll down to the bottom of the page, click on upload videos. Enter the information about your video location. If you changed it or just now updated it, please click on update. And again, you'll see that successful message pop up on the right-hand side. So click on the plus sign next to your first scene. This will open a window in which you can find the correct video for this scene on your computer. So to make it a bit e easier, when creating your video, give it a name such as scene one, or the title of that scene as I've done here. And you can upload MP4 files or .mov files, either one, or a combination of both. So once you've found the file, click on Open. Notice the green circle. This indicates that the first scene is being uploaded. Remember that depending on your network connection, this may take a few minutes to upload to our site. If there is a scene that you want to skip, simply click on Skip This Video. Once all videos have been uploaded to the site, you will notice that the file name below the scene is there, and that will list that name of that scene that you've uploaded. If you make a mistake, simply click on the plus sign and upload the correct file. The Submit Your Video icon has now been highlighted so we can submit the videos. Click on Submit Your Videos. Remember that once you submit, you can no longer make any changes. We're almost done. One last chance. If you're sure you're ready, go ahead and click on Submit My Video to continue. You may see a green circle indicating that we are working on the upload of your videos, followed by a message saying it was successful. And remember that successful message will be up in the upper right hand corner. 
Once completed, you will see this message. From here, scroll to the top and you will see the message saying that your video is being edited. At the top of the page, you notice that the video is being edited. This is where we edit all of the individual videos into one time capsule video for you. Once that's all done, you could go ahead and log out, or what I do want you to do is check your email for an email from Not Forgotten. This will verify that your video is being processed. Now it may take a while for your video to be processed. Watch your email for the next message that informs, informs you that it's all done. You can click on the link to take you to our website. From there, you can download your video. And that's all there is to it. Congratulations. Your video will be available for generations. Remember, if you have any questions, reach out to us at support at not-forgotten.com. Just send us an email to that address and we'll be happy to assist. Thank you. Create your scripts if you're going to use them. Perhaps you printed them out. And we're going to click on upload video. Make sure that the video location has been edited and updated as we do here. And you'll see the successful message up there on the screen. Then we're going to be adding our first video. And we'll be selecting that from your computer and uploading that to our website. And again, this is assuming that you 